Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video we are celebrating a collaboration between Altenew and Picket Fence. This video hop will be focusing on the stamp wheel from Altenew. You can see here I have uh, picked it out of the packaging and using the center alignment uh, guides. Uh, it's a super clever way of aligning your paper inside the stamp wheel to make sure that the paper is uh, in the middle. And there's a couple of different ones. The one I use now are from A2 and they are also marked with A2. So I thought I was going to play around with this and I have marked out four corners on my stamp wheel here. And um, I inked it up with uh, uh, ink from Picket Fence. And then I am also using a stamp set from uh, Picket Fence called Kesera Sera. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right. It's one uh, of um, those really great ones that has a lot of florals. And I just thought it was fitting with a floral image for today's collab. And uh, you can see how easy this goes. I also using uh, a press here from Picket Fence just to make sure that I get a perfect impression. Uh, to me this was super easy to use and as I said this was the first time I used it and it worked perfectly from the beginning. And you can see how easy I can build a background pattern. If you follow my channel you know that background patterns is something I really enjoy creating and this went so fast with the stamp wheel here. So I will go around and ink this up a couple of more times and then I will uh, start coloring. So I used a white um, paper that is uh, watercolor friendly and the ink from Picket Fence is also watercolor friendly so I will be using uh, um, a watercoloring uh, set from Alton. You will see it here on screen in a second. I have had it in my stash for many many years uh, but it's one of those I reach for when I want to do some coloring because I just love the colors inside of this. So I hope you get a glance of my lid and you can see how well used and loved this one is. And <clears throat> it was a while since I did some watercoloring so I was happy to bring it out again and just use it. So you can see I have a little brush here and a container with water to the side. And yeah, I just let go and had a blast coloring this in. I will speed this up in a second because it uh, I'm not that fast <laughs> at the coloring. And even though this was a really simple watercoloring technique that I did, just putting down some green inks on top of those leaves. And when it starts to dry, I will go in with a second coat just to deepen uh, some of the parts. Um, it took me a while to color this in, but uh, as, as you, uh, no, this is also the part I enjoy most. Uh, just mixing some colors and uh, looking what I'm getting here in the lid and then bring it to the paper and start coloring in. Uh, I wanted to keep this quite summery. I know it's fall, but to me I want to keep summer uh, for as long as I can. In Sweden there is uh, we have a really long winter and I am I'm, I'm enjoying the winter, but I also really like the summer, so I want to keep that for as long as I can. And I can tell you, <laughs> this summer was really bad in Sweden. It has been raining for for um, forever, it feels like. It's been feeling like fall for the past two months. So, yeah, we have some really nice fall days here, I'm hoping, so that I can enjoy some more sun. Because, uh, yeah, getting back to work after this summer was feeling like I didn't <laughs> have any summer at all. But enough of my summer and rambling on here. Um, this video is a part of a video hop, as I mentioned in the beginning. And all of the information about that will be listed down below, as well as the person next in line. Um, there will be prizes to be won if you follow along the hop, so don't forget to check that out. I also took some time here coloring in all of those empty spaces and when everything had dried I left this overnight. I'm just brushing away any colors that got stuck on top of my coloring. If I would have liked I could have taken that stamp, putting it back into the stamp wheel and then stamping it once more on top of it, but I didn't for today's video. 
For my sentiment, I used the brushed gold cardstock. This is my favorite. Lately, I've been using it on all of my projects. And I paired it with a dye from Picket Fans called Thank, uh, Thank You Wear Dye. And it's just a really classic and beautiful font. I attached this to a standard A2 sized uh, card in, in the portrait. No, sorry, in the landscapes uh, way. Yeah, I'm mixing it up. I like the portrait way. So here you can see how everything looks when it's all finished. I hope you enjoyed this quick video showing you one way of using the stamp wheel. I know you will get a ton more inspiration if you follow along in this video hop. Until next time, have a great day. Bye!